Hello everyone. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to do a love reading. I felt really compelled to do a love reading. So I'm pulling out my decks. Gonna make it matter. And I really, after the reading I had done, so today is going to see two readings essentially, but after the reading that I had done, I just got really pulled to see what's coming up in love because I feel the card that was within a few weeks is telling me that there's something happening in love. Okay, so we're going to pull some cards from the Oracle of the Unicorns, Mythic Oracle, and this brand new deck I got called the Modern Love Tarot deck. And then of course, if I feel needed, I'm going to pull some, if I feel it's needed, I'm going to pull some cards from the Truth, from the Truth deck here. Let me get my stuff together. Once again, I'm kind of going in here blank because I really don't know what to expect right now. But I feel like there's some significant movement within the next few weeks. And that's what I am looking at. Okay, so let's get started. So to start, let's get some miracles from the unicorns. Receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Is this what we're getting in a couple of weeks? That is beautiful. I'm also, obviously, the first thing I hear is giving and receiving love. I'm, I'm seeing something with love coming to you. I don't know why I'm being begged to answer the question, ask the question, will you be ready for it? Oh, Lord, balance. Take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with your work. Also, lots of transformation there with the butterflies. Awareness. Live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance. Ooh. Look at the way the light sort of reflector into that. Actually, you know what, with this, I'm going to pull out the Mythic Oracle as well. brand new deck that I haven't used as you can tell. Harmony, balance, it's coming out with healing, Chiron, okay? And awareness is coming out with strength. There's that strength card again.
in a moment with this message, my goodness. Okay, so with love, we know that something is coming to you. Ooh, 32, 33 as well. What is coming to you has the power to balance things. Absolutely. Oh my God, balance. Harmony, balance. There's healing coming as a result. And you'll have to exercise a lot of your inner strength to remain aware and present because I think it will be quite easy to get carried away with the good and the bad, okay? Um, which means that old wounds can come up. You'll be tested. That's what I'm hearing immediately. I am getting the energy of someone you're connected to, a past lover, coming to the table. Maybe after a time of separation, you may have overgiven. The receive card is so significant to me here. And it also looks like she's holding the amethyst ball I have here. I have two of them. I'm specifically seeing that you may have overgiven to this person. You may have, this is the message that's coming to me. This isn't just about you receiving abundance from the universe. This is you receiving something from somebody you were connected to in the past. That is clear to me. That is what's coming to me right now. Okay. I'm also seeing that you may have overgiven to this person. You may have been the one to always give. And now you're suddenly in a position where you're going to be receiving. And I don't think you're used to that. I don't think you're used to it. Emperor, oh, of course, of course, Hermit Emperor, Six of Pentacles, it's balance, you know, the tent there says love more, love more, if you look at that, love more, love more, star, there's a couple there, <gasps> Empress, oh my was thinking this chick was gonna make herself out apparent and there she is okay like can i just like i mean i'm channeling a love message and i get the love message so again emperor i'm sorry hermit emperor six of pentacles star and empress like i mean this pair You know what's so significant about this card is that, again, I'm using the modern love tarot, okay? So the Empress here, she's one with the universe. She's abundant. She's realized her power. She's impregnated with possibility and self-preservation and power, okay? There's love all around her. Her trees are bearing fruit. She herself is fruit. She can nurture herself here, you see? She's beaming. She's happy. She's content. Okay. The Emperor is getting ready to make a move. That's what I think is coming to you in the next couple of weeks. The Emperor is making a move. Total Aries energy here. And you can see he's... He's played a game his entire life here. He's been moving the pieces back and forth, but he's not winning. And look at the, the piece he's holding in his hand. It has his heart in it. It's getting ready to make a move toward you. Okay? I am being confirmed here that this move is going to be one of healing 
balance which we've got here twice we've got balance and harmony we've got it a third time here and it's coming after a period of separation that's what i'm seeing here i'm also getting the message that you the feminine i think you're the one watching here you're in this phase Mm -hmm. so after a time of separation healing and balance comes in to the side over here what do i need to know about the emperor what do i need to know about the empress emperor oh <laughs> the cards felt like this i just knew i saw that empress okay so emperor three of wands empress Ten of Swords. Actually, the cards were like this. The Empress was behind the Ten of Swords, okay? So I'm seeing here, again, we've got a divine pair here. He's definitely thinking of his Empress, okay? I think he's very stressed out about the past. But he's trying to keep his eyes focused on the bigger picture is what I'm seeing here. What is the stress about? King of Pentacles, oh. Seven of Swords, King of Swords, Tower. Okay, the stress here is that he's been quite deceptive in the past. When he should have shown up stable and secure, he never did. He was cut off, he was deceptive, he lied, he hid his feelings, and things are shifting in his world as we speak. I think he's becoming very aware and trying to exercise strength. Strength to make a move, towards the feminine but also awareness because he's starting to realize how he's been this entire time this emperor this guy this masculine energy has not been helping himself or anybody else he's been connected to he's just been a lost cause is what i'm getting here just nothing but a lost cause i know that's not a very nice way of saying it but like he just he's been his own worst enemy But there are shifts happening in his life. Where are the shifts? What's happening in his life that's making him finally acknowledge the Empress, who she was to him, and how he's been towards her? What's happening? That was coming up there. Judgment. Ooh, a rebirth. It's underway. Regrets of the past. Mm-hmm. And stable movement forward. And star again, healing. He's like picking up this. Intuition. Yes. I'm a little all over the place here. New lifestyle. New home. Take a trip. Mm, bottom of the deck is weighing options. This masculine is definitely contemplating the good and the bad about what's coming towards you. He really doesn't know how this cycle is going to work. But there's so much newness and fresh energy coming in here. He is getting ready to change his life. He considers you home. I don't know whether he's actually shifting residences, but I'm seeing that there's a lot of fresh newness coming into his energy here. He's listening to his intuition. This newness is helping him strengthen his inner core to allow his rebirth to happen. In this process, so I've got a notification here. In this process, he's regretful about the past and he's facing some anxiety about the way he's been. I think this dude understands he did you dirty and he knows he wants to now come back. And so there's a little shame and a little regret attached to all of this, okay? Let's put this back. Now we're gonna look at the feminine. Because I feel like, I don't feel like the feminine's cut off, but she's busy because she's busy being abundant. So I think, oh, I wanted to say take a trip. I do feel like this masculine is going to be trying to journey towards you in some capacity. What is this journey about? 
this is the number three, so he's manifesting it. And then that's three, four. Because that person the number four card. So that is progress. What is this trip energy that I'm getting here, Spirit? Three of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Two. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. My God, the Spirit does not lie. <sighs> This guy is so heartbroken about the way things have turned out, but he is taking a small step towards the connection, which is towards the Empress here. Look at the way these cards line up. He is taking a small step towards the Empress. small step is the communication <gasps> he's learned so much ace of pentacles so you see the ace of pentacles is the divine offer from the universe which now they receive to come towards you so they are being divinely guided i have always told you that aries and um taurus season are significant here these cards seem to be coming out all the time okay okay masculines mm -hmm. they get you <sighs> god empress what do we need to know about the empress let's see She's definitely hermiting. Justice. So she's balancing herself. Balance on the table again. There's definitely a balancing happening out in the connection because a balance showed up a third time for the emperor and now a third time for the empress. Magician. Mm, she's manifesting her own life. And she herself is listening to her intuition. She's empowered. She's confident. She's abundant. And she's believing in her powers. And that's why she's moving forward here. She's manifested new opportunities for herself and she's enjoying them right now. Knight of Swords rushing towards you. This is an energy of the masculine coming towards you. I don't see the, the, the feminine really rushing towards anything right now. She's so stable and secure in her own journey. She knows what's meant to be hers is coming to her. But something is rushing towards her. I believe it's a masculine, masculine coming for the Empress. Oh my god. that came out in that last reading that I was referring to you about. It's too many cards. Five of one, seven of swords, yeah. I think the communication you're going to receive, the Empress is going to receive, is what's been going on? Throughout this entire separation. Suddenly this is heavy energy all over again. Definitely comes as a surprise to the feminine. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Sexual energies. Hmm. 
Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely a renewal here. I think the feminine is going to, the, the Empress is really going to understand what's been happening in the Emperor's world throughout this entire time. But it's not all over. It's still an undergoing energy. It's still a process. This masculine has been quite stuck. I think he does feel far more secure right now, but he is still quite stuck in his circumstances. Okay. And there's a renewal here. I'm going to look at these energies then. Okay, I'm just a mess. Hermit, Six of Pentacles. So this is the connection overall. The star. Then I'm getting Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Describe this overall energy for me, Spirit. Personal, personal, immature emotions. Hidden agenda. Lurking. This masculine spying on you. That's for sure. Low vibes. It, <laughs> the spying is a low vibrational energy. 100%. Shift your focus. Okay. So what I am being told is that anything that has happened in the separation has not been personal. It has been selfish towards the masculine for sure, but he's needed to really focus on his energy. The time is 828. 882, 288. These are all numbers that have meant abundance and love and partnership for me. So that is a time right now. Um, this masculine is spying on you. That's for sure. Now, when they come back, remember, both of the energies that sort of signified that their return was coming about was with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So they are coming with an immature energy. I want to say it's a younger energy. It doesn't mean they're going to be immature towards you, but they're not fully developed yet. Okay? Hidden agenda is what I need to clarify here. And I want to know what they're seeing when they're spying on you. Let's see spying first. Okay. Page of Cups. So it's creating the urge and the desire to communicate. Okay. Five of Wands conflicted. This is Seven of Swords. Yes. They're conflicted. They want to communicate. They're conflicted. But the whole vibration of them spying on you is very low vibrational but these cards confirm that hidden agenda what is a hidden agenda though i don't see this as very deceptive though i just think it's suppressed emotions the ace of wands temperance king of pentacles page of pentacles Those same two cards came back out again fuck tower things are shifting in their life what is shifting In terms of it's not personal, I mean, um, hidden agenda, there is a sexual desire towards you. They feel reinvigorated and passionate towards you. They're trying to balance themselves so they're not just coming in with hot sex energy. They are trying to balance themselves because they do want to come in stabilized. They understand that this energy is inconsistent. It has been. Even in the separation with you, it's energy that hasn't served them. So they are trying to come back into a balance so they can have their power. Now, while this is the desire on how they want to be the king of pentacles they are coming through at the moment as a page of pentacles okay now what is the shift about in their life heartbreak and strength i don't think anything in their life is things are crumbling right down to the ground 
So I'm understanding here. I see soul tribe here. This has been a consistent message that what is disintegrating is the tribe, the friendships, the sexual interests you've kept in your life. This masculine may have been hooking up. Okay. Um, this masculine in the absence from you because you were more of a high vibrational energy that he didn't know how to maintain. He may have been exploring other connections, third party situations. I'm seeing this as very sexual though. So I'm seeing this as, and not just because the card says it, I'm seeing more, this is more hookups. They're trying to identify with people through sex. There could be a Leo here, a Virgo here, a Scorpio here. I have here. Yeah, those are the strongest energies I'm getting at the moment. I'm seeing that things, family and friends, I definitely heartbreak when it comes to relationships and sex. So let's look at this. What's happening in the family and friend front? Wheel of Fortune, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, mm. the Moon, Ten of Swords. There's definitely, in the family and friends front, cycles closing, indecisive about how to move forward. There's a mother figure here, though. This mother figure is quite burdensome. Someone's connected to a, a family, a mother figure in their family. I'm seeing this as a grandmother or a mother. And there's stress and fear connected to her. This person understands that this connection or the pressure they feel from this maternal figure needs to end. And they're indecisive about how to go about it. So they may not be completely done with this or may have a decision about it, but it needs to end. Hmm. I was going to ask regarding this mother. Queen of Wands, the Hanged Man, Ten of Wands. You know what? This person has been attracting women like their mother. Women or feminine energies. So I'm seeing these two are now fully connected here. So this mother may be quite cold. This mother could have a lot of expectations towards this masculine energy, this emperor. And they've been attracting other female interests as a result of it. But it's not going well. It's burdensome. And they want... But they're understanding it more. What's well, not going well in sex? Relationships. As a result. Three of Cups. So definitely third-party vibes. Knight of Swords. So cut off emotionally. Ten of Pentacles. They're realizing what they want. Two of Wands. Looking at the big picture to get there. And then coming towards you with an offer of love. Six of Cups, the return of a twin flame or a high-level soul relationship. I'm seeing this masculine is finally understanding what they don't want. And that is helping them understand what they do want. They thought they didn't want you. But I don't think they really was fully decided on that. So they went ahead and they started exploring other things. But they've realized that, okay, the grass is not greener on the other side. The pond has no fish. Oh my god, the void, um, the... The timestamp on the video was 2844 there. So there is a return of this person coming through. That's what's shifting in their life. They've understood how the experience with you has fits into the picture now. This is gorgeous. So I had channeled within a couple of weeks. So get ready. Something's coming your way.